This is Story Recapped. Today I'm gonna explain an action, horror, and sci-fi film called Evolver. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Kyle Baxter plays a virtual reality game against a robot called Evolver. An audience gathers and watches him play the game from the screen. His best friend Zack collects bets from the audience to earn some money. Amongst the audience is their schoolmate Dwight, who bets for Kyle to lose. At the last level in the game, Kyle struggles to distinguish the robot from its reflection. He gets an opening to hit Evolver, but another player suddenly appears. Distracted, Kyle gets defeated. Kyle takes off his helmet and discovers that the new player is a girl. The girl nonchalantly shrugs and walks away. Kyle chases after her and confronts her for ruining his last chance to win a contest. The girl doesn't know about the contest as she has just moved into town, so Kyle frustratingly explains that the contest is to win an actual Evolver robot. At Cybertronics, the CEO, Jerry Lang, and the head programmer, Russell Bennett, discuss the new Evolver robot. Jerry wants it ready by tomorrow as the robot is a test for their next project. Russell assures him that Evolver will be perfect. At home, Kyle's mother Melanie prepares to leave for a date while his sister Allie prepares dinner. Kyle and Zack hang out in his room when Melanie checks in to tell them she's going out. She asks Kyle to show Allie some appreciation for helping with dinner, but Kyle rebuffs her. He doesn't like that she's going out on dates so often. Melanie doesn't argue further. Using his home computer, Kyle hacks into the company's system to check out the player's scores. He finds out he's only 55 points behind the top player. Zack suggests he tamper with the scores to make himself the winner, but Kyle says he doesn't want to. Back at Cybertronics, Russell activates a code into the prize robot system. The computer confirms that the SWORD program is now active, and Russell is confident that it'll be perfect. The following day at school, Dwight takes Zack's money and threatens Zack to pay the rest of the money he won from the bet. Kyle comes home to the Cybertronics team awarding him the prize robot, smiling when Zack realizes that he changed the game scores. At first, Melanie is upset that Kyle didn't tell her about the contest and that he'll spend more time playing games, noting how his father wouldn't like it. Kyle points out that his dad isn't around anymore, then promises that Melanie will love Evolver. Inside, Jerry and Russell present the prize robot, Evolver, to the Baxters. Russell explains that this robot represents the one in the game, and it can learn on its own by exploring its surroundings. He adds that the robot can be used as an opponent like in the game, and the players will use the toy laser pistols to hit Evolver's targets to score. There are four levels, and it's programmed to level up each time it's defeated. It becomes a smarter and quicker opponent when it levels up, and nobody has ever defeated Evolver at level 4. The robot also records video footage and saves it in a small disc that will eject once full. Russell instructs Kyle to send him all of these recordings. When the Cybertronics team leaves, the girl from before comes by to apologize to Kyle. She offers friendship and introduces herself as Jamie. Kyle invites her in, and with Zack and Allie, they play a game with Evolver. The robot assigns enemy numbers to the kids, with Kyle as enemy 1. Using the laser pistols, the kids take turns tagging Evolver to accumulate damage points. On the other hand, Evolver launches soft foam balls to hit its enemies. It calculates everyone's scores as the game progresses. At one point, it tips over, and Zack helps ride it up. Evolver proves to be competitive and doesn't allow any players to rest. When it hits Allie so hard that she falls on the floor, it confirms her as a kill. Allie gets up after a moment, frustrating Evolver that the kill is not final, so it hits the girl repeatedly. Allie screams for it to stop, but it only halts when Kyle hits its bullseye, defeating Evolver's level 1. As it advances to level 2, its weapon evolves to add foam projectiles to its ammo. It asks for another round, but the kids no longer want to play. It rolls away, retrieving the balls it launched earlier. That night, Kyle reviews Evolver's user manual as it recharges. After it gets unplugged, Evolver announces that its recording disc is full, so Kyle replaces it with a blank one. Evolver scans Kyle's room and finds a kaleidoscope. When Kyle clarifies that it's not a weapon, Evolver regards it unnecessary. Evolver then watches the news on TV. Kyle connects the robot to his computer and discovers the sword program hidden in its system. After Evolver watches violence on television, it finds a container of metal ball bearings. It picks one up but promptly drops it when Kyle asks about sword. Evolver tells Kyle that sword's objective is to infiltrate, attack, and destroy its enemies. Kyle dismisses it as simply the game's programming then goes to sleep. Evolver reaches out to the sleeping Kyle, but it changes its mind and charges itself instead. The following day, Zack persuades Kyle to send Evolver into the girl's locker room to take advantage of its video recording capabilities. 
They disguise the robot as a bin and cover it with towels. Once inside, it wheels on its own, immediately catching Jamie's attention. One of the other girls also notices, and, mistaking it for a freshman, she shoves Evolver outside. It then finds its way to the boys' locker room. It encounters Dwight, and, being the only person in the room, asks him to play. Dwight agrees, and Evolver hits him with harmless projectiles. Annoyed, Dwight shoves it against the lockers, making it fall to its side. When Dwight isn't looking, Evolver writes itself up. Having learned it from Zack during the previous game, it then loads Kyle's metal ball bearings amongst its projectiles. The robot fires at Dwight, blowing out one of his eyes, and pursues him until he falls down the stairs to his death. Unaware of the murder, Zack and Kyle find Evolver outside, and they both take it home. At dinner, Evolver catches a hostage situation on television. It repeats the curses it learned to Allie, thus upsetting Melanie. Before Kyle gets berated for it, they hear the doorbell, so he goes to answer. Jamie is at the door to confront him about the incident at the girls' locker room. They head to Kyle's room, where Jamie demands to have the disc, but Kyle explains that it's still in Evolver and will only come out once it's full. Jamie mentions that she heard Kyle's parents were separated too. Kyle gets defensive, so Jamie reveals that they left her mom in Ohio when they moved. Jamie then notices the bikini-clad girl dancing on Kyle's computer. She comments that Kyle should try asking a girl out if he's so interested. Evolver rolls in and asks him to play, but Kyle sends him out. As it goes, Jamie says Kyle might have hurt its feelings. Kyle replies that computers don't have feelings, and because of that, they can't disappoint him as people do. They're interrupted by Allie's screams. When they check, they find that Allie is playing with Evolver, so the two join in for another game. In this round, Evolver shows that it learned to roll over a step on the floor and can now produce a smoke screen. When it finds Kyle, it fires its last ball bearing but hits Kyle's reflection in the mirror instead. Kyle quickly hits its bullseye, defeating it again at level 2. Kyle and Jamie inspect the mess and see the ball bearing amongst the shattered glass. Evolver advances to level 3 and can now fire a harmless laser beam. Suddenly, Allie calls them to see the news, and they watch the report on Dwight's death. Meanwhile, at Cybertronics, Russell reviews the footage from the first disc. He shows concern when he sees the robot's aggression towards Allie. At school the next day, Kyle and Jamie find the dent in one of the lockers from when Evolver attacked Dwight. Jamie is suspicious that Evolver might have been involved in Dwight's death, but Kyle dismisses the idea and tells her computers only do what they're programmed to do. At home, Evolver charges itself at the house's main power supply. Zack arrives and takes Evolver out of the house. That same afternoon, Jerry and Russell argue about the footage from the first disc. Jerry is not happy that the robot caused Allie distress in the first game. Russell defends that the robot is designed to be a tough adversary, just as Jerry asked. Jerry reminds him that they gave Evolver as a prize to test if they could produce a new line of toys. But Russell stresses that doing another retest would cost them more time and money. Zack takes Evolver to his house and into his garage. He forcibly takes the disc out and plans to sell the footage from the girl's locker room. Evolver recognizes him as an enemy and fires a laser at him, but sees that he's unaffected. Instead, Evolver takes a saw blade and injures his leg with it. When Zack hides under a car lifted by a jack, Evolver cuts the jack with an axe and crushes Zack underneath. Believing Zack to be dead, Evolver leaves to return to the Baxter's house. Evolver chances upon the arcade where Kyle and Jamie previously played. It finds a player in the middle of the game while his friend watches. The friend sees Evolver and mistakes it for a toy. Evolver tags them as enemies 6 and 7, then electrocutes the friend. Unaware of the events, the player continues his game until Evolver destroys his VR headset. Still thinking he's in virtual reality, he agrees to play with Evolver. The robot taunts him and goes on to electrocute him. When Kyle and Jamie can't find Evolver at the house, they rush to Zack's, only to discover that he's been in an accident. Zack is carried out on a stretcher, alive but in horrible shape. The two go inside to investigate, and Kyle immediately finds the disc. Jamie offers to help find Evolver, but Kyle refuses and tells her he's taking her home. Jamie offers sympathy for what happened to his friend, but Kyle tells her to stop talking unless she's his therapist, adding that she isn't even his girlfriend. Jamie gets mad and rebukes that he's only interested in computers anyway. He and Jamie head home separately. Back home, Kyle takes out Evolver's batteries. He tries to view the video recorded on the disc, but only encounters errors. Kyle heads to Cybertronics the next day to talk to Russell and tells him about the accidents. He shares his suspicion that Evolver might be involved in Dwight's and Zack's incidents. Russell brushes him off and takes the disc to try to fix the video recording. Jamie follows Kyle at Cybertronics, and with a keycard stolen from Russell, they get into the restricted main computer room. 
There, they find out that SWORD is originally a US defense experiment that Russell programmed. It was designed to adapt to all situations, infiltrate enemy territories, and eliminate targets with no survivors. The project was terminated years ago, and video footage shows the prototype getting out of control and killing soldiers. It only stops when Russell shuts it down with a voice command. With this discovery, they immediately call Allie, who tells them she replaced Evolver's batteries. She hangs up on them as she's in the middle of a game with a robot. Evolver loads its launcher with steak knives, shoots Allie, and misses. Evolver pursues her, and she falls into the pool. The robot almost electrocutes her, but Allie climbs up a floater in time. Meanwhile, Russell fixes the video footage and is horrified to watch the recording of Dwight's murder. It dawns on him that Evolver has become murderous. Back at the Baxter's house, Evolver punches a hole in Allie's floater with a knife. The floater slowly deflates, making Allie sink. Just before she gets electrocuted, Kyle and Jamie arrive. Kyle grabs the robot's attention while Jamie gets Allie out of the pool. Evolver shoots a knife at Kyle, and he immediately takes cover. Using the laser pistol, Kyle repeatedly hits Evolver and ultimately defeats it. Before it could advance to the next level, Kyle kicks it into the water, shorting its circuits. Russell and two guys from Cybertronics retrieve the robot from the bottom of the pool. Russell apologizes to Kyle and Jamie, and explains that the real intention behind S.W.O.R.D. was to help save soldiers' lives. He only wanted to prove that the program worked, so he integrated it into Evolver. After telling the Baxters that the Evolver will be destroyed, he leaves. In a tender moment, Kyle and Melanie reconcile the differences. Inside the van that took Evolver, the robot is revived and attacks everyone, causing the van to crash. Russell survives but gets trapped in the wreckage. He tries to shut down Evolver with a voice command, but it doesn't work. Evolver sucks up gasoline from the upturned van's leaking tank and then blows it up instantly killing Russell. Evolver advances to level 4 and adjusts its components, determined to eliminate what it considers to be the champion, Kyle Baxter. Kyle takes Jamie for a ride home but gets stranded on the way when his scooter runs out of gas. While walking, they both admit their feelings for each other and promptly make out. Somewhere else, Evolver supercharges itself with high-voltage electricity. Later, Kyle and Jamie see the wrecked Cybertronics van. They fear that Evolver has escaped, so they make their way back. The power is out at home, and while Melanie tries to fix the circuit board, Allie screams upstairs. Melanie rushes up and finds Allie crouching in a corner. Evolver appears and activates a weapon. Kyle and Jamie arrive home, and Evolver challenges Kyle to fight in the last level. It reveals that it has taken his mother and sister hostage, using a supercharged laser and Kyle's kaleidoscope to create a laser cage. The laser slowly burns the bedroom walls. Evolver gives Kyle three minutes to win, or it'll eliminate the hostages. Kyle charges, but Evolver hits his leg with a laser blast. It chases the two around the house with its powerful laser. Injured, Kyle picks up one of the toy laser guns and decides to fight back. They try to trick Evolver, but it's much more developed and smarter now and doesn't fall for it. Melanie tries to find a way to escape the cage, but anything caught up in the laser catches fire. She burns her arm when her robe sleeve touches the cage. Kyle figures that the only way Evolver would stop is if he's dead. He confronts the robot and gets hit squarely in the chest. Lying on the floor, Kyle feigns death and makes Evolver believe it has won. However, the intelligent robot heightens its audio sensitivity and confirms that Kyle is still alive. Before it could hit him with another laser blast, Jamie distracts Evolver and allows Kyle to move away. He reveals that he had worn a metal pan on his chest to protect himself earlier. He shoots Evolver at its bullseye one more time, effectively winning the game. Since no one has ever won against Evolver in level 4, the robot malfunctions. In its confusion, Kyle wrecks it with a baseball bat. With Evolver defeated, Kyle and Jamie rush upstairs and save Melanie and Allie. They take a moment to recuperate, but Evolver boots back up to life downstairs. Just as Kyle and the others are leaving the room, Evolver appears from behind the door. It traps Kyle and challenges him to a bonus round. It catches Kyle by the neck and nearly chokes him to death. He tries to run, but Evolver catches and breaks his leg. Kyle kicks it with his other leg until it lets go. Evolver charges to electrocute Kyle, but he rolls away and grabs the supercharged laser gun. He hits the robot and holds the laser until Evolver explodes. Sometime later, Kyle is carried out on a stretcher. Jamie asks Kyle if he still thinks computers are so great, so Kyle admits that people have their good points too. He and Jamie then kiss. While the family and Jamie are loaded into an ambulance, Jerry arrives and is sworn by reporters. While people are busy with all the commotion, a part of Evolver lights back up to life, indicating that the killer robot has not been truly defeated. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications.
and leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.